Okay guys, another uh, micro drones uh, rebuild here. And I'm going to take the orange 85 here that I reviewed a little while ago. Uh, I'm going to convert this from a 2 inch quad to a 2.5 inch quad. And I know that this is a pretty interesting motor. It's an 1106 6000 kV motor. I don't know if you guys can see that there. And I'm thinking this will probably be okay on a 2.5 inch prop on 3S. So I'm going to take all these parts out of this frame. Um, FEV receiver, everything. And I'm going to move it over to this frame here. This is the uh, Kenny 110 Air from Air Arsenal. And I think this is the 2mm carbon plate. I'll check that. Yeah, a little over 2 millimeters, So it should be pretty durable. Uh, it's got, you know, these thicker arms here, and I think this is typical of the frames that come from Air Arsenal. He t I think he t tends to like to build the arms uh, with the ESCs on the arms instead of using the 401 ESCs, but the, uh, this this one, the uh, Orange 85 happens to come with the 401 ECs, so we're not going to see any e uh, ESCs on the arms in this one. But it'll be interesting to see how this 2.5 inch build does in terms of the drag, because I'm kind of speculating there's a little bit of extra drag from these thinner or these thicker arms versus say something like from Tomoquaz where he's got the really thin, uh, thinner arms for a lower drag profile and actually a thicker plate. So he, I think he typically builds with three millimeter plates and a little bit thinner arms. So it'll be interesting to see how this frame flies compared to something else that's a little thinner armed. Comes with a TPU canopy or pod, which is kind of nice. And so it's gonna give really good protection to the electronics and the camera. I'm going to have to convert this circular polarized antenna to this linear whip antenna, and he's including this as well, so it's a nice little added bonus. Uh, you can typically get these for, not, it's not, not too much, for like five for a few dollars from Banggood, but it's nice that they include that. But um, it, when you convert these circular polarized antennas to linear ones, that you typically want to get that antenna far away from the top of the quad so that um, it's, when you're flying away from yourself, the carbon plate isn't blocking your video signal so I'll, uh, I'll probably show that when I do the uh, build for the the camera portion later. Okay so I got all the electronic components removed from the uh, Orange 85 frame. Uh, however I'm running into a little issue here with the Kenny 110. Uh, putting the stack here as four, uh, with a 4-in-1 ESC and flight controller stack into this frame is an issue if you're going to be using the uh, TPU canopy because there isn't enough space uh, here for the uh, electronic components to fit and, and actually mount the canopy on top of this frame. So, and I think uh, that's by design. Um, you know, when you use the 401 ECs, it increases the height of the stack here. But if you use this, uh, like a Pico BLX flight controller, you know, flight controller PDB combo. It's a lower stack and you put ESCs onto the arms. And I think that's how he actually has this design. So if you get this frame, uh, keep in mind you can't use a form of an ESC with this canopy. So scratch uh, this conversion for the Kenny 110. I'll build something else with this. And uh, instead I'll just put this stack into the uh, the Squirt 110, which is a basically it's pretty similar to this. The stack is straight up and down with the camera on top and you get a little TPU cam protector. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stick it on this and um, I'm gonna do the uh, antenna conversion as well. So do all that and I think everything should, should work at that point. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is all assembled with uh, the parts from the Orange 85. And uh, the only thing that I needed to do was I needed to get a longer nylon screw that goes all the way through to this uh, little hex standoff here that goes into this pod. That's the only thing that was really different. I'm not exactly sure what the length of that screw was. It was, I think, maybe about two centimeters. It was a pretty long nylon screw. I had one of those in my uh, just parts bin that I had just lying around. But you'll need that to get that all the way through or you need to somehow figure out a way to get a screw through to um, the pod over here. And you will need the standoff here so you get the receiver in there. So I put my FlySky receiver underneath the pod. Uh, the uh, TX-02 that was on there before, I removed the circular polarized antenna and I put on the linear whip antenna that was provided. Pretty easy to do. This pod here is made from TPU and it fits the TX-02 exactly and includes a little uh, space here for the button 
and uh, there's a, actually a hole back here for the um, channel indicator that I covered it up with the buzzer and LED here. I just stuck it on with some double-sided foam tape. It just came out really nice like that. Um, yeah, not uh, there wasn't really a whole lot of changes. I, I think I rotated the board because it was uh, rotated 45 degrees and I rotated so that the USB port comes out of the back. So I need to adjust that in my uh, Betaflight settings. Uh, but other than that, um, and, and the four nylon screws that go from the bottom all the way up to these um, this hex standoff here, uh, everything is exactly the same, all the same parts. Uh, but now I'm using the Rotorex 2535 props instead of the uh, two inch props. So I, I can now probably run this on 2S no problem uh, for multi-GP racing. And I can probably also do it on uh, 3S as well. So I'm going to be testing both of those in uh, later on in this video. You'll see some flight demos of that. Um, let's get a weight measurement of this. I want to compare it to the Airblade bolt that I just built. Okay, so this guy comes in about 70, 71 grams almost. There's the Airblade bolt. Pretty, uh, pretty similar in setup. And this one's about a gram more, 71.9, 70.9, 79.9. So pretty, pretty close in weight for these both. And uh, but this uh, Airblade bolt is 90 millimeters uh, motor to motor, and this is 110 millimeters motor to motor. You can see that it's a slightly bigger frame. Okay, enough talking about this. I'm going to go ahead and roll some flight footage for you. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. So this thing flies pretty amazing, and I think it's mostly due to these 1106 6000 kV motors. They were pretty good on 3S on a 2-inch prop, but it was kind of heavy with the prop guards on the Orange 85, and even with the prop guards off, it didn't really fly that well because the uh, bottom plate without the prop guards was kind of flexible. It was only one millimeter. Uh, this frame was much stiffer, and uh, with the two and a half inch props, even on 2S here, it was flying really, really well. Now, as I said, it has a lot to do with these motors, they're 1106 6000 kV motors, and uh, if you're doing a build, I would uh, suggest definitely looking into these. They're, I think they were about $7.89 uh, when I last checked, and actually they went out of stock, and then they came back in stock, and I, I bought a few more sets, and I told a bunch of people on Facebook to buy some. And I think they're probably out of stock again until probably end of June, but when they come back in stock, I would highly recommend buying these because uh, they're a pretty inexpensive motor and they have really good power even on 2S. So if you're thinking about doing multi-GP builds on 2.5 inch props, this is a, a good cheap motor to get. It flies really well and has good power. As for the frame, I have nothing but positive things to say about it. it it's a very good frame, although, you know, it's a pretty... Uh, generic design, it's an X-frame, it's got a pod on top, I think there's a lot of them out there. I do like the fact that the uh, TPU pod for the TX-02 um, pretty much makes this uh, camera um, crash-proof. And I've, I've, since, since I've made this video, or, or filmed this part of the video, I've crashed this many times and uh, suffered no damage to the camera, uh, even though I seem to be pretty good at destroying TX-02s, I think I've destroyed about 10 of them already. Uh, but I'm pretty confident with this camera pod that the camera is going to be fairly well protected So I like the design. Um, unfortunately, he only makes them for the uh, TX-01, 02, 03 series and uh, no other cameras uh, I did suggest to him that he may, may want to consider making a pod for like say the CM275T or some of the other popular 
cameras out there, but um, uh, the other cameras don't fit this one, only the TX02, or TX01, 02, and 03. Anyway guys, uh, coming to the end of this video, I, you know, I, I don't recommend buying the Orange 85 and, and converting this like I did, but I would suggest uh, checking out the motors. I think those are the things, that, that's the thing that makes this, uh, the build really, really good. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.